Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you so much for joining me. We are finally in October and today I am doing the numerology and the astrology for October 2nd, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number seven. The structure of your choices and actions align with a lot of Virgo energy today. Follow the flows and the rhythms that are presenting. Sometimes you have to wait for it. Wait for a full body yes, a complete and total knowing from a place of certainty and clarity. That is what is needed now more than ever. There are universal flows of energy that support the movement and manifestation of big energy shifts. You can feel when those shifts begin to happen, and if you are very perceptive, you will know when to jump into that river and allow it to effortlessly carry you to a new conclusion. The astrology for the t t today. The full moon energy continues in Aries. It is a good time to get physical. Venus moves into Virgo until the 27th. This combination is going to amplify the uncomfortable feelings of many because Venus wants relationship and Virgo tends to be shy and prefers a more solitary expression. Use this energy to get a lot done, such as moving clutter and beautifying your home or workspace. It is great to engage everyone in such activities and a more communal process. The moon will form squares to Capricorn to the Capricorn duo, which right now are Jupiter and Pluto, and later this evening it will align with the retrograde Mars. Testy does not begin to describe the external feeling. Watch out for those ready to explode and then get out of the way. The sun quincux to Uranus in the morning and you can expect emotions to be restless and not for, and for there to be many small upsets and blocks to your progress and ambitions. Venus goes into Virgo and there will be, and it will be there until the 27th. Allow the sensuality and practicality of all this Virgo energy help you estimate how long those projects are going to take. There are a lot of things you want to get accomplished. Do your best to keep to the schedule. When the projects on your list have a practical application, they become more attractive and give a sense of pleasure as well. Love often looks like taking the time. Take some time to make cookies. Clear out the kids' rooms of old used things and spending time together with a family on a joint project that creates valuable moments of bonding and connection. Do your best to try to worry less. Fretting will not get anything done. You will only endlessly loop in things that you cannot change. My quote for today, there's two. The first one, things are dying and not just life is dying, but principles, ideas, intelligence, discussion, engagement, and truth. And my second one today, the path ahead is collapsed and broken. The trail leads nowhere. Oblivion awaits. And my blog today. With the phenomena of all the smoke that has been going on and off, I am noticing a dying off of ants. Something about the smoke is killing them. Not that having fewer carpenter ants is a bad thing, but you notice how nature copes or does not cope well with these radical and elongated changes happening in our world because of climate change. Things such as ants mean a lot to our world. Insects mean a lot to our world. The loss of each precious life means something and it is trying to warn us. In a world where there is so much suffering to so many, being generated by so few in power, then each loss I feel deeply in my heart. Each moment when I look at the ant trails across my fence and I see fewer and fewer of them struggling across to get to the aphids in the bushes outside my garden, I feel sad. I feel the loss. I feel their struggle. Perhaps I can focus on ants because of the horror of what those in power are doing to children, women, and the elderly is so big 
that I cannot even wrap my head around such evil and those that care so little for life. Perhaps I focus on the ants because while they seem small and a bother, they are not insignificant to our world, nor are those children in cages, nor are women being pushed back into the shadows behind men's egos, nor are the elderly who have worked their entire lives for a moment when they can retire and have a pittance to help them live a quiet and peaceful ending to a busy life with less worry. What has happened to our world that we can become so blind to what is happening? What kind of evil is this that can make people numb to the point of allowing darkness to infect and spread? I am not from such a world where you can be so del deliberately uncaring and cruel. I do not have that capacity to not notice what is happening. While I am grateful for that ability, I recognize that I can only wrap my love around the ants, the children, the women, and the elderly in meditations each day. I stand up for everything I can. I write letters to officials that seem to have no impact. I know that this global discomfort is the only way this world will change. I know that much death is around the corner. You can smell it in the smoke. You can see it in the gaunt eyes of those we weathering this moment and doing their best to just keep going. You can taste it in the bitter taste of the ash in my mouth and nose. Things are dying and not just life is dying, but principles, ideas, intelligence, discussion, engagement, and truth.